In this video, I'm talking about otosclerosis and your treatment options. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. The process of hearing requires a lot of moving parts. So before I get into what otosclerosis is, let me explain how we hear. First, sound must enter the outer ear and vibrate the eardrum. Then this sound must be transferred through the middle ear space by three middle ear bones called the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. The stapes will then transfer the sound via the oval window into the cochlea or the hearing organ. This will create movement of fluid inside of the cochlea, causing a membrane to move with the help of outer hair cells. Then the inner hair cells pick up this vibration, send it up to your brain through the auditory nerve. This sound is processed in your auditory cortex, causing you to hear. If any one of the links in this chain is disrupted, then you'll be left with either a sensory neural hearing loss, a conductive hearing loss, or a mixed hearing loss. In the case of otosclerosis, also known as otospongiosis, bony formations develop around the stapes, which is the middle ear bone that connects to the cochlea. This impedes the movement of the stapes, preventing the normal transmission of sound from the outer ear to the inner ear. Otosclerosis and otospongiosis typically result in a conductive hearing loss. This is because sound can't be conducted from the outer ear through to the inner ear. You can also experience symptoms like tinnitus, and if the inner ear becomes involved with otosclerosis, then you can also experience dizziness and even a sensory neural hearing loss on top of the conductive hearing loss. Otosclerosis is typically identified by a traditional hearing test that shows a conductive hearing loss. You'll also have tympanometry performed, which will generally show that there's very little movement of the eardrum, meaning that the ossicles or those middle ear bones have stiffened up. It can also show absent reflexes. Once identified by an audiologist, they will refer you to an ear, nose, and throat physician where they will diagnose you with otosclerosis or otospongiosis. They may even have you go through a CT scan to confirm that diagnosis. If surgery is recommended, you'll either go through a stapedectomy, which is the removal of the stapes and the stapes foot plate, or a stapedotomy, which is removal of the stapes, but just drilling a hole in the stapes foot plate. In either situation, you're actually gonna get a prosthetic in there to replace the stapes. Here you can see the structures of the ear, but as we move in closer, you can see the stapes. If you have otosclerosis, this stapes will be fused to the cochlea. So what a surgeon will do is actually go in and disconnect the stapes from the incus. Once they remove the stapes entirely, they will either remove that stapes foot plate or drill a hole into it like you see here. They will then insert a prosthetic and attach it to the incus. So now that any time sound vibrates the eardrum, it will move the two middle ear bones and the prosthetic, overcoming that conductive hearing loss. If the condition doesn't warrant surgery yet, or you don't want to have surgery yet, you can still use hearing aids to overcome that conductive hearing loss. And if you do have the surgery, they typically are very successful. However, if you are left with a little bit of hearing loss after you've already had the surgery, then you may actually have to use hearing aids anyway. Overall, otosclerosis and otospongiosis are very treatable. So if you're suspecting that you have a hearing loss and you're on the younger side, go get your hearing checked. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked it, please share it. And if you wanna see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.